Hi everyone, I'm Lillian. And I'm Zarina. And today we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to do wings, horns, open wings, basically whatever other things are could be on a pony. So let's get started. Okay, so here we have a regular pony base facing sideways profile. And first, let's do a horn. So the forehead, about halfway down, so like here, you're going to want to make a triangle. That's, hmm, let's see. It depends on how long you want the horn to be. If it's an alicorn, the horns tend to be a bit longer like that. If it's a regular unicorn, the horns are usually shorter. So you want to make a thin triangle pointing slightly upwards and don't make it too thick just like that and then you can put in little lines to show the spirals of the horn okay so horns are pretty simple right and now to wings so first a closed wing you want to start about where this line is so um, when the forearm gets into the uh, chest and stomach wherever it attaches and so then you want to make a curved line and you want to make a sideways teardrop shape and I like to make it right about so it just comes out a little bit farther than the back of the pony and then you can erase this line here where the leg is okay and then there's the feathers inside the wing so they're just I usually do three curved lines like tall hills and then from the low part just a line to go to the back of the wing like that again that's pretty simple so now I'm gonna show you how to do an open wing so you can raise this alright so you want to start kind of inside the back because wings don't start right here and just make a line you want to make them fairly large because they wouldn't be able to fly if they were small. So make it about, about definitely above the ear. And then curve and come back down about, uh, about halfway, maybe a little less. And then make another kind of curve and then continue it down about here and make another one. And then at the very base, make the last one. Then you can erase the line from when the wing connects into the body. And then, also, there are the inner feathers. That, that's usually less, um... Oh, and sorry about the fan. <laughs> we have the air conditioning running. And, um, and the door. <laughs> and so the inner feathers, I usually don't pay much attention to these. They're just two little lines in the inside. Like that. And then, you draw the other wing, because... You do that, and then that's just continuing, like, um, it'd be a copy of the wing, but slightly forward, like that. And you don't have to draw the other feathers. So those are the open wings, and this is just a regular pegasus. Alicorns have different wings. So now I'm going to show you guys how to do the alicorn wings. Okay, so alicorn wings, again, you want to start slightly inwards, but these ones, you curve in just a little bit and then curve out again, and then you curve again, so it makes this nice... Thin, um, what's it? What is this called? Let me do this. A curve? An S shape? Yeah, a nice thin S shape. And then you can continue it and make it go down just a small bit and then, then just curve it around and make. And alicorns have a lot more feathers, so some more feathers like that and again erase where it connects to the body and then you want to make a nice large bone in the wing and then fill in the inner feathers and alicorns have longer horns yeah alicorns also have the longer horns as I said before so their horns would be about here and then you just goes to about there. Okay, and then I'm going to show you guys how to do, make um, the unicorn 
if you were drawing a unicorn, appear to be doing magic. So what you want to do is just make squiggles around the horn, just like that. It's very simple. And then whatever object they have, so let's see, just like a random lopsided circle thing. And then you just put the same squiggles around that. And often they have sparkles, but that's a little hard um, if you're coloring it in, and you want to make it a little bit transparent also if you're coloring in. So you want to still color in the horn, but just color this part in lightly. Okay. Okay, so we're done with this tutorial, but don't pause the video yet because we're going to be give we're going to be giving you guys a sneak peek of Zarina's drawing of anger from inside out, and we will hopefully be doing a tutorial on him soon. Bye guys. Thanks. See you next time.